We've got a lot of questions about Social Security, so we're turning to our financial expert, Mark Lampkin, who's here to answer several of them for us. First of all, will Social Security be there when I retire, when people even younger than I am retire? That's the question. I probably get that question more than any other question, and here's there's good and bad news. The bad news is Social Security in its current form is not sustainable. Right. Here's the good news. If you cut those benefits to around 70% of what they're, what, what they're projected to pay, Social Security is solvent. So Social Security is going to be there in one way or another. What I tell folks, if you're 50 and older, you're going to get pretty close to what you're at. My age and below, Social Security is going to change and change a lot. So don't bank on that when you're doing your financial plan. Okay. Uh, starting off, you, you say, first of all, it pays to delay with Social Security? 25% of the people out there know their, their, their retirement, their full retirement age, right? Most people don't know that. Some people think it's 62, some people think it's 70. And really, depending on your, uh, what month you're born in, it could be 65, it could be 66. Mine's going to be 67. So mm. we, I want you to understand the full benefits age. What, benefit, what age do you retire at? And you need to check that when you're doing your financial planning because most people don't know how to do it. You can take Social Security at 62, but again, um, it pays to wait. You'll get a little bit more each year all the way up to age 70. After age 70, it stops. You need to start taking it. And, and if, you, if you take it early, over the long run, how much does that cost you? You know, Candace, actuarially, it's, uh, it's going to be the same. So it really okay. depends. If you have long genetics in your family, <laughs> it depends to wait. If you have tough genetics, uh -huh. it's tough to outlive that. Take it to early. Okay. Uh, dependent income. Most people don't know that um, um, a divorced spouse can, have, can file for benefits on her first husband or, or his first wife. Um, if something happens to a spouse and, and, or a mother or dad dies, if those children are below the age of 18, uh, they get full Social Security payments until they're age 18, even mm -hmm. if it's a divorce situation. So again, uh, it pays to ask and look at a Social Security counselor because dependent income or dependent spouses do have access. All right, next, death equals one income. Yeah, most people don't understand this. So if you have a husband and wife, a retired couple that are living, and one of those spouses goes away, the bad news is that, of course, that person's Social Security. So you're down to one Social Security income. The good news is, whichever was higher, the husband's or the wife, whichever is higher, that surviving spouse is going to get for the rest of their life. All right, what is the 35-year test? So most people don't understand that it's 35 years. When Social Security is figuring your benefits, they're going to look at 35 years of earning history. And if you don't have 35 years, they're going to plug a zero in. Hmm. So again, when you're planning your retirement age or planning this, you want to make sure you try to have those 35 years in the workforce or you're going to get a zero plugged in. Okay, and finally, benefits are taxed. Yeah, this is a big deal, and I have this conversation frequently. So you, we were talking about genetics a while ago. Let's say someone has poor genetics and they decide to take Social Security at age 62. If you make over roughly $36,000, consult your tax advisor, but roughly over $36,000, for every $2 you make, $1 of your benefits gets reduced. Mm -hmm. And also, you could be taxed on it. So it's not a good idea if you're going to continue to work to take that benefit at 62. At 65, your benefits don't get reduced, but they're still going to be taxed. So you got to understand, if you're going to stop work at 67, 68, you may delay to 70 to avoid those taxes. Bottom line, meet with someone like me. Meet with someone that understands Social Security because there are a couple ploys, legal, that you can use to maximize those benefits. All right, Mark, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just you. glad to hear that it's not going to all be gone when <laughs> it's time for me to retire. Be all right, thank you.